Back here locally, 18 chief medical officers and infectious disease doctors from all around the region are calling this the most dangerous time since the pandemic started. I'm Pat McGonigal. And I'm Kim Burns. Thanks for joining us. Fox 4's John Pepitone is in our studio to explain why these doctors believe their latest battle in the fight against COVID may actually take place in the Kansas legislature, right, John? Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, doctors say Kansas has seen the largest increase in COVID cases on a per capita basis than any other state in the union. And there's concern now about two bills in the Kansas Senate, which would require Kansas physicians to, pres to prescribe ivermectin or hydroxychloroquine to treat COVID-19 if a patient asks for it. Pharmacists also would be required to dispense those drugs, which this group of doctors say are not supported by medical evidence as proven treatments for the disease. I'm baffled at, at the in, intrusion into um, practicing medicine. Uh, and if we're going to require something and say that if, if your doctor says you have to do it, you have to go do it, uh, or the, the pharmacist has to do it, that, uh, or I'm sorry, if a patient asks for it, I mean, where that's a pretty slippery slope to um, a pretty dangerous place. Um, and if we're going to require something, why not require something that we know works, which is vaccines? These doctors say states instead should be helping physicians with shortages they're facing in treating COVID patients. At Liberty Hospital on the Missouri side of the state line, the chief medical officer says doctors don't have any of the drugs that are proven to work against COVID. They're talking about certain monoclonal antibody treatments and the new antiviral drug Paxlovid. These hospital leaders also dispute reports that healthcare worker shortages are being caused by staff who test positive for COVID but don't have any symptoms. The leader at HCA Midwest says workers are only sent home when they are sick. The hospital chain says it does not test asymptomatic employees. Pat Kim. John Pepitone, live in studio. Thanks for that.